What are we doing? We're playing some Chaos Engine on the Amiga A500 using the GoTech Drive. Yes, so happy to have this. If you have an Amiga, you owe it to yourself to get a GoTech Drive. Um, I had this pre-flashed, or bought it pre-flashed, should I say, off of eBay. I'm going to put the seller down below because they were really easy to work with and they helped me out a little bit. Um, yeah, this thing, amazing. Also, for the Commodore 128, yeah, Commodore Bomb has gone off here in the Technocost household. Uh, that's a 128, and um, it's going to SD drive, too. I'm going to do a review on and uh, show you some pros and cons. But this thing, wow, it's great. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how it's used. So right there you see on the front, number 9, that's actually um, what I specified Chaos Engine to be. So, how this works is um, you boot this up and you have plenty of time to switch between your um, specified images. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I get to the menu. 0001 is the uh, selector.adf. The firmware will read that first. So, run 001, turn it on. Chaos Engine freaked out because I was switching disks on that, I guess. And what it does is it'll, it'll read that file, and it'll boot up. So this will boot up, and uh, right here is the uh, is a thumb drive, and I got an SD card in there. Um, basically, I just threw some stuff on there to uh, to demonstrate this is being used in my Wii U for other stuff. But um, <clears throat> you'll see in here, you can specify which, uh, which disk you want to use for which number. It's not great, but, you know, it'd be more awesome if it was like a hard drive or whatever. But this is emulating a floppy. So what you can do is you specify which number is going to be your ADF file. So you'll see here, um, I've got multiple different things. Like, uh, for example, my blank disk... Uh, .adf is an actual blank disk, so when I need to save a character or whatever, God, it will not focus. Um, <clears throat> it'll go to 001. There we go. Uh, Prince of Persia is, is going to be 2. Zach McCracken, the first disk is going to be 3. The second is going to be 4. So if I'm playing Zach McCracken and it's like, hey, please insert disk 2, well, on here, I'll use the, uh, the buttons and I'll I'll make the LED go to disk four, which is number two, Zach McCracken. And you know, once the drive, you know, I'll switch to, I'll switch it, hit the button, you'll get drive lights going. Just wait a second, and then boom, hit enter, and so it's okay, cool, and it loads it. So that's how you load your save discs and stuff like that. Real easy to use. So uh, you can, like I said, you can specify. You know, you can click on something. Let's pick our type again. And there it'll go. So what I can do is then is uh, hit save and restart, and then it'll restart. So uh, let's go ahead. Number nine is Chaos Engine. We'll fire that one up. Now when this thing fires up, you have plenty of time to switch. The only requirement is that this has to be FAT32, which is pretty easy, especially with a Windows box. Um, you know, Mac too, you can format. But, um, yeah, you can just plug it into your existing uh, drive and, uh, you know, make it internal, external, do whatever you want to do. And that's it. It just works. It's really simple. It's very inexpensive for what it does. These things don't work anymore. I mean, I'm not in any way saying you should pirate games or anything. It's just, when they're 25 to 30 years old, this American Cold War muscle right here um, was just sitting dormant until I got this because none of my discs work. Uh, the Commodore 128, speaking of uh, Cold War American muscle made in Pennsylvania, right there. All right, we're going to totally be doing a, a little review on it. It also has... You'll see it right there. A uh, an SD drive. It looks, looks like a uh, little tiny one five four one drive.
but uh, and, and which I'm getting a lot of use out of it. It's it's been a lot of fun. So these are machines I grew up with. Best time in my life were with my best friend gaming on these things. And um, seriously, if you have an old machine like this, you owe it to yourself. And Atari ST also has has this. I just never got into that, but um, it works great. It's really simple. As long as you're not afraid to do a little nerd stuff. Which, if you're here, you're probably not afraid at all to do that. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use my American-made joystick. Which is crazy. All this stuff's made in America. They don't do that anymore. Which, is this is my favorite joystick in the world. The Wicca. It's a Chaos Engine. That's it for now. I uh, appreciate you showing up. A lot more Commodore stuff is going to come. I'm totally a Commodore freak. And uh, I'm building my game room. These are going to be hooked up to some Sony Trinitrons. And uh, it's going to be pretty awesome. So kind of just what I've always wanted my whole life. And now that I'm in my uh, having my midlife crisis, I'm making this happen. So uh, please subscribe for more awesome retro Commodore fun. And uh, just plain old nerd stuff that interests me. Technocost, out.